So uh, you, you also just launched uh, uh, DisplayPort 1.4? That's correct. DisplayPort 1.4 is the next generation of DisplayPort. It includes some additional features that people have been looking for. One is compression, which will let us do uh, uh, more, more, more displays, higher resolution displays uh, across the new Type-C connector. Uh, it also adds uh, things for HDR, uh, 8K at 60, uh, that type of thing. And uh, so the company that's sort of leading the way with compression is called Hardent. And this is Stefan with Hardent. And he can tell you all about uh, and actually show you uh, how that compression scenario is going to work. So what does Hardent do? Hardened do. Uh, Hardened was part of the development of the Visa standard for uh, video compression. And a uh, big... Uh, Big manufacturer yeah. were involved in the development of this uh, standard. Yeah. So it says uh, uh, it, it reduces the data rate uh, by over 50 percent. Mm -hmm. So you do compression of what and how and where? Okay, uh, we do compression uh, using this algorithm, mm -hmm. which is uh, display stream compression, and uh, this is a visually lossless uh, algorithm. This means that uh, uh, when the picture is reconstructed. Uh, you cannot make visually the difference from uh, the source one. So here we have the source image, which is generated by the laptop. It goes through uh, here an implementation of the encoder and decoder. They are in the same programmable uh, chip. This is FPGA Silinx uh, development board, or what yeah. is this? It's just to demonstrate uh, the functionality, but uh, normally the encoder and decoder will be separately into a different chip. So it's like a uh, chip that would be in where? In a display? Yeah. Or in a device? Uh, actually, it can be like in a mobi uh, mobile uh, phone, and you will have the graphic processor that will encode the, uh, the video and then transmit over uh, a display port, for example, or the physical layer to the display uh, part of the, the chip of the mobile device. So here, what are you showing here? Uh, the actual uh, demo demonstration that we show you, there's the laptop generating the image, encoder, and then decoding. And then you have the uh, reconstruct output on the monitor. And we have split the screen in four different uh, zones to show you what's going on. So, so where is Harden base? Harden is based in Montreal. And uh, as we were part of the standard development, it was a natural way for us to develop the IP to be integrated into uh, the, the chip manufacturer uh, for a big uh, chip of the next generation for chip manufacturers. So, uh, for example, Qualcomm has already uh, integrated into their uh, Snapdragon. Which one? I think the 820. So the latest Snapdragon has your technology already? Yep. Yeah. So that means they can display uh, output a whole bunch of 4K displays. So what can they do? <laughs> I don't know. It depends on their. Uh, is it three H three 4K and two 8K, or how many is the maximum? Sorry, I, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you the, the detailed spec of the the Snapdragon, but uh, they were an early adopter of the technology, and we're in touch with uh, a lot of uh, display and uh, graphic chip uh, manufacturer in Asia, also in Europe. So this, What's uh, the maximum with this technology? With compression, you can have more output. You can have several displays. Uh, what was it? What is it for? It can be. Uh, it's mainly the, uh, at first was for mobile device to re because when you reduce uh, the bandwidth, you compress by three. Then you reduce the power, which is uh, used by the battery. You also reduce the power. Yeah, because when you do compression, you need less bandwidth to transmit the signal. So this save power, this uh, generate less noise into the device and uh, also uh, has effect on the cost. On the other side, if you reduce by three, then you can uh, expand the resolution by three also and have the same link. So this allows to uh, support a 4K resolution, 5, 5K and 8K, and our IP are scalable. So. Um, this is uh, really growing with uh, with the new uh, trends of the industry. Uh, la two weeks uh, before uh, the version 1.2 of the standard was released. Are you talking about which the, display uh, port? Uh, no, of a display stream compression. Ah, so you have version 1.2? Mm -hmm. Actually, it's 1.1. 1.2 was released two weeks ago. And uh, the goal is to support the cooling format by the HDTV, HDTV, 
and PC monitor. And the, the what format? Coding? The coding format, like uh, they support 420, 422. And uh, the goal is to. Uh, provide the technology for the equipment uh, manufacturer for TV, for PC monitor. So this is also a, a market which will uh, use our core. Another, uh, another uh, market is the uh, automotive because cars uh, today integrate more and more display, sensor, camera and they're looking into reducing the cabling and into the car, the cost of the cabling. So we have actually a car manufacturer evaluating our technology. Nice. And to have less cable, that's uh, less weight, is uh, more range. Mm -hmm. Everything's going to be better. Yep. That's awesome. So, uh, since when does your company do this kind of technology? Uh, we're in the uh, video processing for uh, uh, many years. We're also working in uh, with partners for uh, telecommunication, networking, and. Uh, all those standards of Ethernet, uh, Sunnet, SDH, but uh, we have uh, different expertise uh, about uh, about the new uh, trend of technology, and we're uh, mainly uh, design uh, design service company. So uh, people come to us when they have specific need that we have the expertise, and uh, this was a natural way for us to go with uh, video compression. And you're all based in Montreal. Yep. And uh, what's called, uh, you need a bunch of power to do the encoding, right? But that power is less than the transmission power of a higher bitrate file? Uh, you mean the, the chip that is... You said there was a power c uh, saving. Why, the power? But, but you, wa you have to run a chip that encodes in your, with mm -hmm. your codec, right? Yep. And that power consumption is less than the transmission of a bigger file? Yep. For sure. For sure, but I can tell you the, the exact figure how much by, by how much okay. uh, is decreased compared to uh, the chip power for uh, doing the compression. But uh, yeah, there, there's a saving absolutely. Nice compression. That's cool.